Hey everyone, happy to have you here with me once again. Welcome back. Today, as you can see in the title, we're having the update for my favorite project over here in my YouTube channel, and that is my Pando Side Shadows. This project was created by Alexi, so as always, I'm going to be leaving her channel uh, and my rules down in the description box. Uh, but I have to admit that today is not going to be a good update. We have a pan, so I guess it's not that bad. Uh, but I don't know what happened in the last month, but I almost didn't use the shades in this project. I don't know. I have said in a couple of videos in the last couple of weeks that I've been focusing in way too many eyeshadows at a time, so... I don't know, I end up neglecting the shades that I have in this project, so yeah, the usage is not going to be good at all, but we're going to be randomly selecting a new channel at the end of this video, so that's exciting. And the second thing that I want to mention before starting this video is please, please ignore my makeup look today, especially the eyeshadows. I was trying to do something that in my mind it worked out but in reality it didn't really look good and I was trying to use two shades that I have in my A4 set project pan and well I didn't like the result and the third and final thing that I wasn't planning to set because my cat was pretty chill until this moment but my cat just starting to play with one of her toys that has a little bit a little like bell on it so you might be able to hear that but yeah with that out of the way here is the color story that i've been working on in the last month last month i kind of made a half refresh i will say because we were able to roll uh, roll in like three new shades and i'm working in six uh, so yeah, this is the new color story that we've been working on and let's start as always Talking about the taste that I have used the least to move up to the taste that I the, the, To move up to the taste that I have used the most. Okay, and starting with the taste that I have used the least Sadly is this palette over here again. I feel like two months ago this was also the palette that I used the least. Then last month, this was a pretty good use palette. And now again, this month is a completely rejected palette because I have to admit that I haven't used the shade in this palette at all in the last month. So there is not even like progress pictures because I didn't even touch it. I'm working in the shade Yamoha over here. Is this silver that has a little bit of Teal, a little bit of blue on it. Kind of a cool tone silver. Is there anything like a warm tone silver? I don't know, but this has a lot of blue on it, so I call it that, like a, a bluish leaning silver. And I feel like this is a pretty specific shade. Like, I'm not able to use it in every look that I create because I feel like every time that I use it, it ends up being like. Uh, the protagonist, the main, uh, the main character of my makeup look. So yeah, I don't know why I didn't really feel inspired to reach for this palette at all in the last month. So no progress to chair. Hopefully I'll use it a little bit more before next month. And I'm getting a little bit worried with this shade because when I introduced it, I was happy because I was in winter and this is a pretty nice wintery shade, but I don't know how well it's going to work now that we're getting into spring. So who knows? Next, we have the three shades that we rolled in last month, and it's one of them I used only once. So let's start with this one over here. This is my Super Chuck Tallow. I want to be working in a Super Chuck Tallow at all times because I have like 30 in my collection that doesn't have a pan on it, and I've been working in the shade um, Pressed Juice. Is this like green leaning yellow over here when i introduced it it was brand new and now you can see that i use it i only use it once but at least now it looks used and i have to say that the look that i created with it i enjoy way more than what i was expecting i don't know i wasn't really like 
I was kind of disappointed to get this shade because it's not one of the prettiest uh, super tuck shadows that I have in my collection but I have to admit that it works better than what I was expecting I have a lot of plans to use this shade a couple of ideas and I think now that we're getting into spring it's going to way it's going to be way easier for me to reach for this shade uh, but yeah, in the last month, I only used it once. Another shade that we rolled in last month come from my Naked Ultraviolet palette from Urban Decay. And this is a shade that I'm pretty sure I won't be able to hit pan on in the 25 uses. But I'm glad to have it in this project to get more use out of this palette. And we roll in the shade Euphoric over here. Um, maybe in the close-ups you're going to be able to see, maybe not, that we use it once. And I don't even have a picture to share with you because the day that I used it, I was trying to film a video for YouTube where I was using like neglected makeup in my collection. But at the end, I was using a different camera that didn't look great. The lighting was really bad because it was a cloudy day. It was around, I don't know, 5 p.m. So I end up deleting the footage. I end up not even finishing the makeup look. So yeah, this almost feel like I didn't use it really because I tried to do something with it, but at the end it didn't work out my idea. And I end up like washing off my makeup immediately after. So yeah, that's bad. The final shade that we rolled in last month, it comes from my The Sweetest Palette from Beauty Creations. And we were working in the shade Cherbet over here. And again, this is a shade that I'm not really happy that I roll in because I don't like these kind of shades like coppery but really red tone with a lot of red and orange well basically a copper is not a color that I really enjoy but the time that I create a look with this palette I mix it with something that has a little bit more that kind of duochromes that are like a green base but no a red base with a green shift and I felt like uh, mixing that with this palette over here, it was perfect. It looked pretty nice. Maybe I'll try that again. Okay, two more shades to talk about and I feel like this is going to be a pretty straightforward video, like pretty short. But next we need to talk about my Nude Light uh, palette from Huda Beauty. I was working in the shade number seven and as you can see, we finally have a pan and I'm so happy about it. I've been working at least for four or five months in this shade, so I'm really happy to finally have a pan on it. Uh, but yeah, it took me 19 total uses to hit pan on it, and I'm really happy with the size of the pan. As I mentioned in the last update, this is a shade that I applied most of the time using my fingers, so the dip was quite like wide, to say it in a way. It was not like a point or anything. Uh, so when we hit pan, it was quite a nice size pan. I'm really happy about that. In conclusion, I can say with total confidence that this shade, at least for me, doesn't work with a brush. In the last month, I used it three times and two out of those uses, I tried to use a brush, but I end up applying the shade anyway with my finger because it didn't really pick up that well with the uh, with the brush it looks more lackluster if I apply it with a brush versus the finger so I end up going that way and I don't know to be honest I end up getting sick of this palette because it has been in this project for so long but the last look that I created with this shade I also used this shade over here and it was so freaking pretty this is one of the shades that uh, the one that I hit pan on it was one of the shades that made me buy that palette because in the store I swatched this shade and this one over here and I was in love. But the other day that I used this shade, it was so glittery and beautiful that I feel like after taking a bit of a rest of this palette, I'm excited to use it again to create more looks with different shades. And the last shade that we need to talk about come from my Making Mouse palette in the shade Solitaire. 
and this is my most used uh, tape in this rotation in the last month and i was working in this tape over here called solitaire as i mentioned i used it five times in the last month for a total of nine uses and i can tell definitely that i'm not going to be able to hit pan in this tape it's quite hard pressed doesn't have a lot of kickback kick, the kickback or kick up how do you say it kick up or kick back i don't remember but hopefully in one or two months i will be able to get to my to my 25 years set goal and being able to roll it out but yeah those are all the shades that i need you to update you on and since we are rolling out this shade over here that means that we're going to be randomly selecting a shade out of my whole collection and randomizing a shade from my whole collection, not from my Super Chuck Chalos or from my Focus palette, is the most exciting thing and it's scary too because I have no idea what I'm going to get. Maybe I'll get something newer. Yesterday I picked up two Sigma palettes uh, and I'm scared. I don't know, I would love to get one of those palettes, but at the same time there's no way I'm going to hit pan on in a newer palette that is that new in my collection do you get what i'm trying to say but okay in total i have 890 eyeshadows that are eligible that means that they don't have a pan yet so we're going to be opening my pretty random app and we're going to be randomizing a number between 1 and 890 okay and here we go let's see what we get 76 oh my god that's going to be a really old palette Let's see what that is. Uh, probably, uh, oh my god. I got this shade last year and I think I only used it once. And I ended up using a bead on it because it didn't really work out for me. It's a shade Sweet Spot from my uh -huh honey palette i'm going to check if it's the exactly same shade but i think i'm going to use a bead on that because i really don't want to work on that again okay so here i have my aha uh -huh honey palette let's see if it's the same shade but i'm pretty sure yeah it's this shade over here a part of me want to work on it because I have uh, the shade Dandy in my A through C, A through Z project pan. So maybe having sweet spot, it's going to make me more inspired, uh, more inspired to reach for Dandy. But that shade, when I used it, it was so dry, so hard pressed, so patchy. No, I'm going to use a bit of. Let's roll something new hopefully i don't regret this decision but what are the odds i have 890 eligible eyeshadows and i roll in the exact same shade than last year and it was that shade that no it was bad so let's see let's get another number let's see 104 okay it's going to be an older palette probably a color pop too huh it's another shade from my makey mops palette okay i think it's a pretty light uh, like mauve color that i can use as a transition i don't know i'm going to check i don't know if i said which shade it is but it's the shade r and r i think you pronounce it and it comes from this palette and it's the first shade in this and yeah it's a pretty light nude can i use that as a transition yeah i can use it as a transition you can barely see it it's pretty similar to my skin tone but way more pinkish you will be able to see it in the close-up but okay i'm happy with that uh, it's something i can work with and i'm happy to be working in more shades in this palette i don't think again that i'm going to be able to hit pan on it in 25 uses but it's a pretty light shade so maybe we're going to be able to do that i don't know uh, but yeah i'll leave my new color story over here i'm quite happy 
I don't know. We almost got a shade for my It's My Pleasure palette, and that is one of my favorite palettes in my collection, so that will have been fun. But I'm okay with what we get, what we got. And now half of the color story is purple leaning, so we are going to have a lot of purples coming our way, and that's really good news for me because I love those tones. So yeah, that's everything for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please consider subscribing. I will love that. If you have any ideas for this color story, uh, let me know. I always appreciate your advices. And I hope I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.